Later today, a judge in West Palm Beach, Florida, will hear arguments from Donald Trump's lawyers and the Justice Department about whether a special master should review the documents seized at Mar-a-Lago. Overnight, Trump's legal team delivered its filing, its paper argument in favor. The Trump lawyers made several points defending the document presence at Trump's beach resort, but did not deny that the documents were classified. In their court filing, they wrote, quote, the purported justification for the initiation of this criminal probe was the alleged discovery of sensitive information contained within the 15 boxes of presidential records, but this discovery was to be fully anticipated, given the very nature of presidential records. Simply put, the notion that presidential records will contain sensitive information should never have been a cause for alarm. With me now is Greg Erie, former special agent in charge at the FBI's office in Newark and vice president of law enforcement and analysis at the Anti-Defamation League. Greg, what about that notion that why should anyone have been upset about classified documents being at Mar-a-Lago in the first place? You're seeing this sliding argument, and it, it's something that often comes up after a search warrant or during a law enforcement operation. But at this point, very clearly, uh, former President Trump is now saying he did have these classified documents uh, that he previously denied having, but now it's okay that he had those in his residence. The word declassified does not come up anywhere no. in this filing last night. In fact, nowhere in a legal document has the Trump legal team argued the documents were declassified, which may have no bearing at all on the argument whether it's a special master. In terms of what you were just talking about, maybe inadvertent admissions of facts that they until this point had sort of denied, on his social media uh, page, Donald Trump posted some complaints about the photo that were in this affidavit released yesterday. This is what Donald Trump wrote. There seems to be confusion as to the picture where documents were sloppily thrown to the floor and released photographically for the world to see as if that's what the FBI found when they broke into my home. Wrong! This is the line that matters here, perhaps legally. They took them out of cartons and spread them around the carpet, making it look like a big fine for them. They dropped them, not me. Very deceiving. And remember, we could have no representative, including lawyers, present during the raid. They were told to wait outside. They took them out of cartons, Donald Trump says, for the first time, which some people read and say, wait a second, is he now admitting that he had these classified documents right there? Any lawyer will tell you less is more. Stop speaking. Wait until there is a question asked and then answer it. But in this case, even the potential admission that I did contain these or these came from a container in my house... This picture is one of hundreds that was taken by the FBI during that search. I've conducted these search warrants operations before. That's one of hundreds. And it's simply made to show that here was a container. There's a picture of that. Here was what was in the container spread out so you can see why I'm seizing this container. That's all. It wasn't a stage photo. It was a classic evidentiary photo. But the fact that the former president has now seemingly admitted that, okay, this did come from a container in my residence is certainly legally problematic. Another aspect of this took place last night when one of Donald Trump's attorneys was, again, I think he was talking, she was talking about the photo and how these documents were splayed out on the floor, suggesting that would never look like that under Trump's office. I've been in Trump's office, but listen to what else she said here. I have been down there. I'm down there frequently. I have never seen that. I have never, ever seen that. That is not the way his office looks. Anybody that knows President Trump's office, he has guests frequently there. So that's the issue. He has guests frequently there. What does that say? This is going to be very difficult and challenging, but also it underlies what the Bureau and DOJ are doing right now. The priority for them is now that we have reobtained these classified documents and this information is the analysis of that. And the fact that there's a threat to people or ideas and operations that were mentioned, they need to mitigate that. They have to assume from just uh, this conversation that they were in the open, they were in his office. They have to assume that that information is out. And how do we protect those assets now? To support my work, please click the subscribe, the like button, and the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my new videos.